What's going, What's going on, on, guys? What's going on? No, no, hit him with it. Hit him with it. It's the second time recording. No, I'm <laughs> <laughs> I made a whole video and ran out of freaking storage. So, anyway, redoing the video. But we're here with the 64 Impala. And anyway, customer comes by, says, hey, man, I need you to tune this thing, get it better. And I said, okay, bring it by. We'll check it out. It was absolutely dumping fuel, tons of fuel out of the exhaust. I said, uh, I knew immediately that I could tell he already had it tuned because the mass airflow sensor, there's not one. And I can also tell by getting in the computer, reading his live data, somebody's been into it. So I said, that is not your problem. So I put a fuel pressure gauge up there. It was well over 150 PSI. LSs are only supposed to get about between 50 and 65 fuel pressure. So talked to the customer the customer called the shop the shop said hey we put the same pump from a 01 corvette in there they did not that was not the truth so this is a very high uh high psi uh upgraded pump and this is supposed to be this line here comes from the tank to the fuel rail well they just had that and then they had this which is supposed to be the return which they had going to the evap solenoid <laughs> which makes no freaking sense so this is the evap solenoid right it's not even plugged in where's the plug that operates it that opens it to let exhaust gas recirculate it makes no sense so we're going to remove all that plug this line we're going to take all this stuff off and jose right there is going to take uh braided steel lines and we're going to build a whole new fuel system so we're probably going to do a new aftermarket aeromotive fuel pressure regulator mount it somewhere on this firewall and we will have a return regulating this thing to about 60 psi somewhere in that area and uh then we'll go through with that but definitely a mistake that gets made all the time people will think i don't i don't know what people think i i don't know and then another issue we got the malibu same thing cranked it up it had flooded so i put another set of plugs in it i redid the initial uh tune wizard on the holly sniper and we do these all the time so i know it's not wrong and it is still just drenched with fuel so uh, uh carlos got all this stuff hooked up and it's getting about 65 psi a little more than i'd like to see but definitely not enough to make it be shooting fuel everywhere so i was hoping this was going to be the same thing but it's not it's definitely definitely something is big time wrong and i don't know what that is yet so hey, we'll look what if he has two inlets do i they connected two inlets, but they didn't know one was the Well, one. considering it's only got 60 PSI, it's got to have a regulator in there somewhere. Because most Either pumps way, are at least going to go. Gas from both ends. It's not going to work the same way as it should. You just had to have a huge rain fart. <laughs> I, don't, I don't think somebody's going to do that. I, I, wouldn't, <laughs> I wouldn't think. The SS Camaro's all cleaned up, prettied up. Uh, Melvin got her all nice and dialed in, so the customer will be coming to get that today and uh, be working on all kinds of other stuff. But anyway, just wanted to show you all that. Uh, a lot of mechanics, half of most mechanics jobs is fixing other people's work. I don't, I don't really you know, step on toes with other mechanics. I don't, I'm not that type of shop that says we're better than everybody else. Uh, but it just is what it is. A lot of times we're, especially on classic cars because people have been tinkering with them for over 50 years. So a lot of our job is going over other people's work. And so this 65 Impala is a good example of that. Also as the Malibu as well. So, all right guys, we're gonna get off here. Good seeing y'all. Hope y'all have a great week. We'll see y'all later.